Hey, it's Emily. When I think about how to start a new year strong, for me, it begins all about just determine, make the decision about what you are gonna make happen in this new year. Don't be afraid to dream big. And then from there, begin with the end in mind and chunk it down into small bite-sized pieces. If your goal is big enough that it's gonna take you all 12 months to hit it, decide what your mini milestones are gonna be, 12 of them, at the end of January, then February, the end of March. Take it in small pieces. From there, communicate your goal. Let the people around you, let the people who care about you know where you've set your intention. They care about you and they're gonna cheer you on. And from there, find an accountability partner, somebody who is willing to hold you accountable to your goal. Additionally, I suggest that you write that goal down and put it someplace where your eyes are gonna see it all the time. Revisit that goal. And then lastly, track your progress to it. Perhaps you journal about it every evening, but track your process to the small bite-sized pieces that you've set for yourself. So at the end of 2024, you have gotten exactly what you made the decision to go out there and get. Cheers to the new year. Hey, this is Laura Mazaris with the Price Group at Keller Williams in Orlando, Florida. I am so excited for 2024, and I wanted to share with you my top tip for moving into 2024, which is try practicing gratitude daily. This is a game changer, I am telling you. I also wanted to say that I am thankful for each and every one of you, and I think 2024 is gonna be our best year Hey, this is Robert with the Price Group at Keller Williams, Louisville East. The way I'm starting off the new year, um, New Year's Day, April and I are actually going to run a race. Uh, I think it's a 5K or 10K out in Shelbyville. Uh, to me, it's no better way to start the new year. You're starting off health, healthy with an accomplishment and just setting a great tone starting the new year. So guys, happy new year. Appreciate you. So my New Year's tip is actually something that I heard Bill Burt talk about on his podcast recently uh, regarding how he approaches his New Year's resolutions. And uh, his was with a, a weight loss goal, but I think it could probably be used with uh, with anything that you could actually just measure on a, re a regular basis. Uh, so he set a goal of losing two pounds a week. And uh, any week that he, uh, that he hit that goal, he recorded it as a win. And then of course, anything below that two pound goal, uh, he would take the L, so to speak, and then just started to follow it like a, a sports team's, um, like a win-loss record. And so the thing I like about that is it allows you not to be perfect. And so say you have a strong January and you finish three and one, and then you just fall off the wagon the first two weeks of February. Well, you're you're just three and three, and that's not that bad. And so uh, just make the decision to you know to win the next week and, and not fall below 500 and uh, just play for the long season. So. I uh, thought it was a good idea and uh, definitely going to try it. Hope it helps you as well. Merry Christmas. Hi, this is Ruth Gethin with the Price Group at Keller Williams Realty, serving Hardin County and the surrounding counties here in Central Kentucky. I like to look ahead to the new year and decide what household projects I want to tackle. Also, choose when my rejuvenation days will be and get them on my calendar. Price, pro tip for uh, starting the new year, I like to kind of think about things in little bite sized chunks. So, starting the new year, Good luck, happy new year, and I uh, hope you hit all your goals.